The trend towards healthy eating and, of course, companies trying to cut their costs. Well, there are two, two factors behind a pretty good rise in shares of Vancouver-based N-Wave. We've seen, seen them rising 19% in the past year. Now, the company has a patented technology used to dehydrate fruits and vegetables and other foods, and it's being tested by some of the biggest players in the global food industry. It's hoping to actually sign deals this year for a closer look at the technology and the business. We're joined by John McNichol. He's the president and co-chief executive of N-Wave. Now, remember, John, it's great to see you. Remember, N-Wave is not to be confused with the Toronto District Heating Company called N-Wave. Well, just to get that out of the way, but John, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thank you, Andy. So your idea is basically to put foods in a vacuum and then use microwaves and to dehydrate it, and you say it produces much tastier food and the process is a lot quicker than existing processes. Well, basically the industry and the drying industry is massive, as you can imagine, uh, from foods to uh, industrial materials to pharmaceuticals and if you go back in in history there's really three main methods they use today uh, air drying and spray drying uh, use large amounts of heat to extract uh, liquid and what happens is that damages nutrients and flavors and you can't really use it for bioactive materials so about 50 years ago they created a method called freeze drying which is uh, preserves those features but is very very slow mm -hmm. and uh, very expensive so by using a vacuum microwave we can create a low temperature environment uh, and really accelerate the speed of the dehydration to give high high quality nutritional retention flavor and uh, a very very good quality product and so this is sort of the genesis of the technology tell us about some of the big food industry partners that you're working with well, we've, uh, we've signed agreements uh, over the past few years uh, for research with companies as diverse as Nestle, uh, Kellogg's, Hormel, uh, Bonduel, uh, Merck Pharmaceuticals, uh, Grupo Bimbo. Uh, we've also uh, got some Canadian companies uh, like uh, uh, well, Bonduel in Canada we're working with, uh, as well as... Uh, uh, the Blueberry uh, guys, Mill. Another the blueberry guys, well, Calsan uh, Technologies, but we've uh, we've got Ocean Spray, uh, SunMade, uh, a lot of very very large companies that are uh, really interested in technology. And three of the the companies have moved from research over the past uh, sort of six to eight months into market evaluation, and we anticipate at least two of the bigger companies. Uh, making decisions within this this quarter, uh, sort of certainly in May and June timeline. So we're getting to a point where we see a, a very, very good opportunity for uh, moving to the commercialization with a couple of new opportunities there. Now, one thing that fascinated us, uh, everybody loves, not everybody, a lot of people like junk food. So these cheese puffs, um, you're thinking about working on making healthy ones that wouldn't have all these chemicals. We're talking about cheesies and or products equivalent to cheesies mm -hmm. and stuff. Tell us about that. Healthy cheese puffs? Well, it's really, really exciting because we've, uh, part of the interesting part of our technology is through the microwave vacuum, we actually tend to puff up uh, the product. So our fruit berries, for example, they puff up. So blueberry mm -hmm. looks like a blueberry. Uh, and with cheese, we actually use uh, little cubes, and we, within about 40, 45 minutes uh, of rotating in our in our process, we create a, a really pure puff cheese product that's absolutely delicious, crunchy. It's uh, we can do different types from uh, goudas to cheddars, Monterey Jacks. Sounds good. And we now have uh, attracted a very, very good partner. And we just launched uh, uh, a few uh, weeks ago uh, a joint partnership uh, for the U.S. Uh, with uh, the former founders and, uh, of a company called Brookside Chocolates that were sold to Hershey's last year. Mm -hmm. And they have a very good network. Uh, they built a national brand in the U.S. before, and they're very excited about the, uh, the prospects of this product. John, can I... And, uh, John, I'm sorry to cut you off. We've only got 30 seconds, and I'm really sorry about that. You sure. trade on the Venture Exchange. You went through something like just over $3 million in cash last year. You still have around $7 million. we only got about 20 seconds. Do you think you'll have to go back to the market to raise money anytime soon? 
Well, right now we've we've got ne actually nearly consolidated nearly about 10 million in cash mm -hmm. uh, with with the short-term investments, okay. and uh, you know we're burning at about four four million a, a year. So we're anticipating reaching okay. some form of uh, break-even in the next uh, maybe uh, 12 to 18 months. Good stuff. Break-even, John. Thanks so much for joining us. Fascinating story. Thank you, Andy. John McNichol. He's the executive of N-Wave. Thank you very much for watching.